basically. So Apple is an incredible material science company. I would say, and I'm biased because I'm a material scientist and building a materials company. I'd say a majority of their advancements come from new materials. If you even take the battery life in the new iPhone 17, they talk about a vapor cooled channel that essentially allows you to, to have more efficiency with the battery, material science discovery, material science problem, color, the different colors they offer, material science problem, aluminum, titanium, the different materials they use to build, material science problem, all the way down to the semiconducting technology, of course, a material science problem. And so everything inside Apple is, is at one point related to material science. They do research internally. They have a very, very good materials research team. And in Alloys, for example, they have they actually bought Quest Tech, um, I think uh, 10, 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer, on, on trying to kind of do some of this design iteration faster in Alloys. They also work with outside parties as well. And the I think glass is the one most people know, Corning with Gorilla Glass. You know, this was a product called ChemCore. It's a good example, actually, of, of the need for materials innovation. They had discovered ChemCore 20 what? years before and didn't have a good application. And so they put it on the shelf until a gentleman by the name of Steve Jobs came knocking and said, I need a scratch resistant, scratch resistant glass that allows me to use it in a you know, touch foam way. And boom, that's where ChemCore moved into the Gorilla Glass and of course powers all modern Apple products.